Hi everybody, this is a demo of a new Thamos feature which allows you to cluster parameters from justifications and stack info. So we can access this command just by running Thamos, uh, Thamos results. So if we look at the help screen here, it introduces two different commands or two different flags, I should say, or options. We have um, list categories, which will list the categories uh, found within the advise result. And a uh, filter, which um, allows you to filter out, actually uh, filter out the advice results based on these categories and other categories, such as type, message, link, package name, or tag. So these are all um, columns or parameters in each justification. So if we just run the list categories first, There it is, okay. We run list categories. What it's gonna do, it's gonna query you, it's gonna aggregate all the justifications and, and, analysis, uh, and stack info. And right now, currently all it's looking at is the, I think these are the types. So it doesn't put out message, it's not gonna aggregate messages because usually all the messages are unique. Links, we don't wanna spam the user with a bunch of different links. Same thing with like, package name or tag. Tag isn't being uh, shown right now just because the metadata hasn't been implemented yet, but this will support that when it does become implemented. As of right now, it's just the types. So we can see that there are 19 info justifications or stack info, um, 40 warnings and one error. So say we wanna see what that error is, we can do something like this. We can just go filter. Um, Filter for the, let's see here. It's a link, oh, nope, it's a type. So we say type, we follow this pattern right here, key and then pattern. And we know that it's just error, so we just do that. It's gonna look for the error. And then it's gonna re return just the, the error justification. So we get the link message and the error. Um, say we wanna explore a little bit more, we can look over at um let's do the links that so this supports um reject uh, rejects patterns so i can do a dot star and then do n so this is going to find oops yeah it's with quotes when you do stuff like that okay we're over them and you can see it found all the ones that end in env and now we can see like, okay, this is all the environment variables provided for the application stack. Um, we can add other stuff on too. Say we want to find ones that have a message that contain no in the name, just so we see which ones are not provided. So we can do things like, we can add on another filter. So let's add on another filter. Let's do link again. No, not link, it's a message, right? So message equals, and then we can do, we can just look for no, and hopefully this works. And it should show you, oh yeah, that didn't look. What do we do around here? Maybe this. Okay, yeah, that's not showing up, but um, it needs a little bit more fixes, but you should be able to add on multiple different filters at once, but I think this is having issues right now. Could it be because there's a dot after no? Um, well, that, that should be the query, right? Hmm. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, well, I can remove the dot just to see, but. Mm. Well, this will be fixed in the next update anyway. Um, yeah. But you should be able to, yeah, I don't know why that's not working here.
Hmm. Okay. Well, you would would be able to look and filter for multiple at the same time, and further query. I mean, further reduce down your actual selection of bias justification. Yeah. Awesome. I just think uh, the issue is because the message has three S's. I think. They oh, is that it. what it is? Oh my goodness. Okay, now we can actually see it happen. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It works. Mm -hmm. There's no bug. Maybe just some more air. Uh, awesome. Air handling. Okay. Yeah. So you can do that, and you can query a string as many as you want on top. Any questions? I think this is pretty neat. Oh. Yeah, it looks it's cool. Uh, a question slash suggestion. You mentioned that when the, the list category is saying it, it's restricted to the types because we don't want to spam with uh, the others. I, I, I can I kind of understand this for messages, but I was wondering, do, do, you, do you think it could be useful to be able to also list all the, for example, uh, links, a cluster, yeah, as part of a result to know that you have been, you know, guided around rules or something. Just so instead of just showing these right here, maybe also show the aggregation of what kind of links were shown or what kind of type. Yeah. Of I mean, I, I believe that the real useful part probably would be uh, you mentioned when tax are available or, or right. you know, filter by tax. But yeah. until then, my understanding is that maybe filtering by type, those three types like info warning and error are quite well known. So I'm don't get me wrong, <laughs> the, the the extension is cool, but this particular output I don't know if it's quite a lot of information. I was wondering if maybe just clustering on links can be useful or not? Just thinking aloud a bit. Um, I, I, the only reason I did include it because I don't know how. I, I, I think I didn't want to like completely bog down the entire display, and I also did build. This is built specifically, not specifically for tags, but with tags in mind. But if we think that adding links to this output, maybe separating it with some headers, like these are the types these are the links maybe maybe package names probably not maybe um and then tags i think that'd be kind of cool if we could list them all but yeah that i think that's um in the next update when tags are implemented i think there's a couple changes that need to be added just to access the tags because i don't know if they're going to be what the route they'll be in, if they're gonna be under metadata or if they'll just be right under where all the other parameters are. But in that uh, round of updates, I can also update this list categories. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome, thanks Cage. No other, any other questions? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Gage.